and welcome to the Master's Table. I'm Tina Cleveland. This is my husband. Brother Frankie Cleveland. And we have a wonderful show for you today. Get your pen and pencil out. You're going to want to copy this recipe down yep. and get hungry. That's right. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And we're also going to cook and eat and have a good time Amen. in the Lord today. Amen. Um, we got a, I think we got a good one for you today. Um, we're going to do a chicken tortilla soup. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to talk about the ingredients right quick before we go to break. We, are, we, are, we got a, a full rotisserie chicken. We got a, we got a full line of seasoning that, we, that we'll go through. And we're going to go through all the ingredients. Uh, but we're gonna, it's just basic onions. Uh, bell pepper, a little bit of jalapeno. You can add as much or as little as you want. The, the main thing about what we do and what we want to cook is to simplify cooking. We want to take the mystery out of cooking. We want to make it where you can go home from work and cook something good in a short amount of time. So that's, that's the main focus of what we're going to try to do today, something you can go home and, and cook in maybe 20 minutes and 30 minutes and have a meal and, uh, for, for your family. Amen. So... I guess we'll go to a break and we'll get ready to come back and get started. You ready, Miss Cleveland? I'm ready. All Are right. you all ready? We'll be back shortly. Well, welcome back to the master's table. And like I said a while ago, we got a good one for you today. We're going to do this chicken tortilla soup. And uh, Miss Cleveland, we're going to let you go do a little bit of mixing right here. I'm going to kind of explain what we're trying to do as mm -hmm. we work our way through. Like I told you, our main main focus and main idea of what we're doing is to, is, is to make this as simple as we can. So I'm going to start. I like red onions just for the color. You can use a white, yellow, whatever kind of onion you want to. Oh, that's purple. Um, well, I'm colorblind. It looks red to me. Miss Cleveland said it's purple, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and chop some of this and let her get So Go ahead and pour us about a couple of tablespoons of that olive oil in the pan. And I'm going to give you something to start stirring. This is a, this is a quick and a, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. It looks like a lot, and I'm going to talk about it as we go through. Um, it looks like a lot of ingredients, but most of this you already have at home in your cupboard or in your, in your pantry. So we're going we're gonna to cut up, this is probably, I would say this is probably a large, you could use a medium or a large size onion in this. Mm, it smells good already. And I'm going to show you something. There's, there's a thousand different ways, people always said, to, to cut up peppers. I'm going to show you the way I cut it up. Four cuts. Down one side, down that side, and one more again right there. I'm gonna cut that side off. Then we're ready to do a, just a rough, everything we're doing is just a basic, just a rough chop. Um, this is uh, this is going to cook down a lot. It's not like it's going to be crunchy or fine. So if we cut this just in a, just in a regular rough chop, it's going to be good, Miss Cleveland, right there for you. I'm going to give you this to dump in there. Just a, just a rough chop. Not, yeah, nothing fancy. I think that's about a medium right there. We'll figure that top out here in a little bit too. We're gonna we're gonna let those we're gonna let those cook down, sweat down. Maybe I don't know a couple of minutes. It don't take them long. It don't take them long at all to to sweat down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little bit more of this green pepper. And really and truthfully, most I've looked at a lot of different recipes, and I I'll tell people you make this your own. You may not like bell pepper, and if you don't like bell pepper, don't put any bell pepper in it. And if you like it like me, I put a lot. I like a lot of bell pepper. I like a lot of green pepper. And then as we got that out of the way. Or you could, could you chop it finer? Yeah, you could. You could if, if you wanted it finer. But like I say, it's, it's going to cook down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cook down and be pretty soft uh, after it simmers once you get it going for a little while. I've got one just, uh, I call this an average size jalapeno. And, you know, you never know what you're going to get with a jalapeno. Sometimes they're real mild. Sometimes they're really hot. So I'm going to start with one, and like I, like I said a while ago, make it your own. If, if you like it hot, you might want to put two or three jalapenos in there. I don't like mine too hot. I like a little bit of spice, but I don't like a whole lot of heat. So we're not going to try to warm it up too much. But this, does, this recipe does make a lot. As a matter of fact, I would say this is probably going to make probably close to seven quarts of, of soup, of chicken tortilla soup. 
Matter of fact, you could eat, a family of four could eat on this and you're gonna have more than enough to take for your lunch tomorrow. Yeah. And you could even eat it tomorrow, the next day, uh, when you when you come home from work. Again, if you like like, like us, we like leftovers, because I always cook too much, Tina says. So, mm -hmm. so we're gonna finish cutting this pepper up, and then as soon as we get this pepper, the rest of this pepper in there, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some seasoning, and I'm gonna tell you exactly the amounts and how much we're gonna add in there. And I'm letting them, putting a few of these seeds in there because I want it. I heard somebody say that they like it hot, so we're gonna we're gonna find out if they really like it hot. So we're gonna warm that on up just a little bit. I've got the uh, trash can right here. I want to clean up my board. I like to keep everything kind of neat and clean as I work my way through. I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. This soup also will um, it's it's good on the the second or third day. It's sometimes yeah, it's like better soup, when it yeah. sits the, on the third day. A lot of soups are good, chili and stuff like that's a lot really good after it sets and all the all those spices and all those seasonings just kind of get. I, I like to say that we're gonna have a, a a big a big fellowship or a big party going on in this pot with flavor. We're gonna have a lot of flavor. Uh, we're gonna have a lot going on in this pot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put you just a little bit of a little bit of garlic. I don't know what it is about. I love that. I love doing that. Break that <laughs> off right there. There's something about mashing that garlic that I like doing. I'm gonna give you one more. This is a couple of medium size to large garlic cloves. Break that one off. Thank mm -hmm. you. And then again, mm. make this recipe your own. There, there's nothing. Use what we're doing as a as a rule of thumb, as a guide to get you started. Because everybody likes different stuff, and I like for people to develop recipes to their taste. That's what makes everything different. Um, it's just just a little bit of spice or a little bit of uh, a little bit more of a sweetness. Um, it, there, there's many things that you can do to change it to your liking. So, with that being said, are those cooking? Yeah, they should get yeah, those onions. There. should get a little bit clear. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. This is um, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're gonna go ahead and add that, and you just keep on keep on the stir. Can you give it? tip about where paprika came from? Yeah, paprika. You know, I, I, I've used it for, for a long time, and I didn't know that paprika was bell pepper. It's dried bell pepper. I, I didn't know that for a long time. And I like the smoked, but because it gives it a little bit of a smoky flavor. And you can add just a little bit more of that if you like that smokiness that it adds. This is um, this is two, probably maybe two and a half um, uh, tablespoons of chili powder. So we're going to go ahead and add that. I want you to just keep on now you can add more or less, right? If you like more yeah, chili powder. Like, like I say, you use this recipe as a, as a rule of thumb, just as a guide uh, to get you on your way. And then you, you, you make it, turn it into your own as you keep on cooking. The next time or two that you cook, it'll be your own. That's about a half a teaspoon of cumin. And I'm gonna let you mix that just because I, mm -hmm. I know it looks like a paste. I know it looks like it's sticking, but, but this, is, this is what's gonna make it good. We're gonna release all that in just a few minutes with uh, with our broth that we're gonna put in there for our soup. So it's, it's not gonna take, I know it looks like it's sticking, I know it looks like it's burning, but it's really not. So just you just keep on moving, you just keep on moving. And this is our all-purpose seasoning. This is just a mixture of, of salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of onion powder, uh, a little bit of paprika, there's not a lot in here, but and then just a couple of other secret ingredients that we put in here. Uh, but but this is our, this is our uh, all-purpose, we're gonna add that just to wake it up a little bit more. And you can always add this later. And I don't put a whole lot of salt. I don't like to put a whole lot of sodium in food because we all can salt it and pepper it to taste when we get it done. So you got that coming together mm -hmm. pretty good right there. So can now, yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna start Add adding, broth. we're gonna start adding our chicken broth. We've got five cups of chicken broth. And then again, you could substitute this out. You could use vegetable broth or you could even use beef broth. But uh, I like chicken. I like chicken broth in everything I do. I guess that's the preacher in me. My pastor told me years ago. He said, uh, "He said the best way you can tell how you call to preach." He said, "You you wake up in the morning and you're craving chicken and you don't want to go to work." That's what he told me. So <laughs> that's just kind of the way I look at. It. I, I I love chicken. I've took that to heart. So I like chicken. But you can use any kind of broth, and you can even add a little more. And I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna really wake it up with here in just a second. That's the five cups of chicken broth. Now, if you don't like chicken broth, can you just use water? 
Well, you could. It just won't have yeah. as much flavor. Yes, it's not going to be as flavorful. It's just like we was talking about, you know, they said, well, do you have to add it to tomatoes? No, you don't have to, but it changes the whole taste. So this is a one pack of, of Sazon. This is a this is an all-purpose, This I use this in everything. If you cook something, always put your pack of Sazon in there. I like that a lot. That wakes up the flavor. And we're going to let that keep coming together. As a matter of fact, let's turn that up just a little bit, Miss Cleveland. And we want to bring that up to a pretty pretty strong simmer. And then we're going to add, we're going to start adding our, our beans. And I'm going to talk about this while she's heating that up. I love fire roasted tomatoes. This recipe, it calls for, you can either use chuck, uh, crushed or, or chunk tomatoes, or you could even use whole tomatoes and, and mash them up. But I love fire roasted tomatoes. And, and I guess there's a different variety, you know, different ones that you can go to your local stores and buy. But, um, but I pick these up every chance I get because they're not always in the store, but I love these fire roasted tomatoes. I like those, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the it's tops. difference in the taste. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a huge difference in the taste. And that's about to get ready. Yeah. So we got the fire roasted tomatoes, we got a can of black beans, and we got a, a can of red beans, and we got a can of corn, and that's what we're gonna add next here in just a second. As a matter of fact, just to wake that up just a little bit more, I guess, I guess this is just a country. I mean, I like a little bit of Creole in everything to do. Now, I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going to burn this up. But I love the flavor. <laughs> I love the flavor of Creole seasoning. I like this. And like I said, you can you can use whatever brand. There's 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 many brands and many kinds that you can use. But I just I like I love Creole seasoning in everything I do. Mm -hmm. So that's warming on up. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our beans. Here's a can of red beans. So you don't drain them. Right? You don't drain no. the beans? Now, yeah. I'm, I'm asking a lot of questions, but it's because I don't here's our, cook. Here's our can <laughs> so of black he's beans. He's teaching me how to cook, too. We've been married 30 years, and I learned real early in our marriage, if I didn't learn how to cook and didn't cook, I was going to starve to death. <laughs> so I figured I better learn how to cook. And I love cooking. I've always liked cooking. And I love for him to cook. And you can look at me and tell, tell it I like, to, I like to cook and I like to eat. But, you know, food is good, though. The Lord gave us uh, the ability to be able to till the land and gave us the seeds to grow stuff. Amen. Um, food, food is good. Uh, a lot of conversations have been over food and, and, and around a table. So uh, I love food and I like, I love these fire roasted tomatoes. We're going to add, that was one can of red beans, one can of black beans, and this is going to wind up to be uh, about 28, maybe 29 ounces of fire roasted tomatoes. That's what we got in there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. I like kind of stay look a little bit clean as we move along. Is that uh is that heating on up? I Let think it is. Let me turn up a little more. I think it's I think it's doing okay. You'll have to as it comes on up to a to a little bit more of a simmer, we'll we'll turn it down probably a little bit because that cast iron will probably probably hold the heat a little bit more. Um, I like it. I like the way it's looking. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, that's, that's a lot of soup. I think while you're stirring it, I'm going to drain just a little bit of water off of this, this corn. I'm going to drain just a little bit. I don't want it to be too much liquid. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do to it. And there again, if you want to add more corn, you know, just to your taste. More well, beans, more corn, more everybody whatever. Everybody don't like corn. Everybody don't like tomatoes, so then again, you can add as little or as much as you want to. Make this recipe yours. Make this yours. Turn it in to make it what you like. That's what I like about cooking. You can make it the way you want it, and you can, um, you, you can, you can go anywhere in your kitchen that you want to go. Anywhere in the world, you can go to any place in the world through your kitchen by what you're cooking. We can go to, we can, we can make a, 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 a Mexican dish, we can make an Asian dish, we can, we can make a, a, a Cajun dish. We can go anywhere in the United States, we can go anywhere in the world yep. by what we're doing in the kitchen. That's what I love about food so much. There's so much that you can do. Sombrero. Yeah, I should have, Tina said I should have brought a sombrero today, and maybe I should have. <laughs> maybe, maybe the next episode we'll, we'll do a, <laughs> we'll, we'll do it up right with a sombrero. I'm gonna put just a little bit more. I love crack. Black pepper. We're just gonna go ahead and heat it up a little bit more. That. Now, that's got a lot of liquid. If you can see that overhead, this has got a lot of. Let me get this ladle so I can I can show you. This is, I'm gonna show you what I like to do in my soup. So this is real watery. So what I'm gonna do, Miss Cleveland, when you keep stirring it and keep that going, I like to take. 
and you, if you got a regular bl blender at home, or if you got, I, I picked up a little small handheld, little, uh, I call it a little blender, a little chopper. I like to take about a couple of cups, maybe two or three scoops of this, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to thicken this soup up just a little bit. I'm gonna put just a little bit, a little bit more. You let that keep on working right there, Miss Cleveland. I'll lay that right there. I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna take this, this little hand mixer that I got. And like I say, if you have a regular blender, and there was one on the counter, I was going to use it, but I, I had this in the, in the in my box. So I'm just going to turn this on, and we're going to blend this down. We're going to mix this up, chop it down, just like a, just puree it just a little bit. What you think, Miss Cleveland? I like it. And then we, once we get that, make too big of a mess over here and we'll clean it up. But now you got like a like a, a vegetable smoothie, I guess you could call it. I don't know that I'd want to drink that or not, but we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> now we're gonna add it back. We're gonna add this back in our in our soup. Oh, Go ahead and mix that up and that's that's gonna that's gonna thicken it up without having to put any kind of other additives or anything in it to make it a little bit thicker. That gives it a little bit more consistency that I'm looking for. And if you want it thicker than that just keep doing it. I That's guess. exactly right. Well, you could, yeah, you could take another, you could take another scoop or two. Cause Tina said, she told me the last time we cooked this, she said I could take that and put it all in a blender and make just like a shake out of it. She said I would like That's for it to be all puree. But I like, I like a little chunkiness and I like a little bit of, I like a little bit of a substance in it, and I like that because it, it thickens it up a little bit without having to add any any kind of anything else in it. So with that being said, now that you got that going, why don't we do? I thought about this. Why don't we do some some tortillas? I know everybody likes tortillas and dip, and we like tortillas. Uh, those like those little wonton strips. You know, everybody mm -hmm. likes to put those in their soup. So mm -hmm. I started cutting a little bit. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do at home. I'm going I'm to show you something that you might not have done before. I don't know. Somebody may have. That is probably cheaper than buying. And it's a whole a lot bag. better. This is going to be a whole lot better. And yes, I got some salt right here, and I got a, I got that plate. So what we're going to do, we're going to take just, these are just, these are regular just corn tortillas. And I guess you could use flour, but I've always used corn. I like the corn tortillas. Um, but these are just regular. You can pick up any brand, any kind, whatever you like. Any local store has these, these tortillas. And what we're going to do, we're just going to cut them into strips. Watch what we're going to do right here. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do at home. Uh, a matter of fact, once you do this, I can just about bet you will never go back and buy a bag of tortillas again once you once you see how good these really are. So do you want to drop these or do you want to you want to keep mixing and stirring right there for a minute? I'll keep mixing okay. and stirring. Now I turned this on earlier and I think I got this hot enough. I didn't bring a, a thermometer to check it. Normally would you would want your oil about 350 and I think it's it's warm enough now. So what we're gonna do is just start dropping these, these little pieces in here. We just want to spread them out and I'm gonna show you how quick this is. I, I, I guarantee you, you're not going to want to go back and buy anything in a bag once you do this at home. You're going to thank me for this later. And as a matter of fact, if you want this recipe, you want to know about anything we're doing, our information will be at the end of this show. You can reach out and contact us via phone number or email or um, however you want to get a hold of us. I'd give you this recipe and uh, we'll talk about what we've done right here today. I'm gonna drop just a couple more, Miss Cleveland, and you leave these right here. I'm, I'm talking about like 30 seconds, maybe, 30 seconds or so, and then we're gonna flip them. Actually, we got this, and I got that to get them out with. We're gonna flip these. We're gonna flip these around just a little bit. This is quick. This don't take these long at all to cook. We're gonna drop that, and we're gonna. Scoop those now. Like I said, those have been in there, what, 45 seconds mm -hmm. so? And watch this. We're going to take these. we take these right here, and we'll go ahead and drop the rest of these in just a second. We'll make enough because I know somebody's going to want to eat some of this. And if y'all don't, I'm going to eat all this by myself. These are, these are good. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Is that warming on up, Miss Cleveland? Yeah, I think it's beginning to boil. Okay, that's all we want. We will bring that to a, to a, maybe just a, you could bring it to a boil, but if it comes to a boil, you would want to, you would want to go ahead 
and, and turn it down and just let that simmer. And, and really, after that simmers just for a little bit, we're going to add our chicken in just a little bit, and I'm going to tell you what we've done with chicken. Now, I like chicken. I like fried chicken. I like baked chicken. I like barbecue chicken. I like chicken wings. I like chicken legs. I like chicken. chicken. I like all kind of chicken. And I've been in the ministry for 15 years, and I told you what my pastor said about chicken, and he told me also something else about ministry. He said, when you're in the ministry, sometimes you eat chicken, and sometimes you eat the feathers. And today we're eating the chicken, so we're going to eat a lot of chicken today. <laughs> you may have to explain that in a little while. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The Bible says a merry heart does good like medicine. Yes. And we need a dose right now. Yep. We're going to laugh a little bit. Yeah. Now, I've got those out. Let me go ahead. You want to hit those with a little bit of salt while they're still kind of warm. And this is a, this is a, a, a pink salt. I generally like kosher salt, but I couldn't find it, what I was looking for yesterday, so I pick, picked up, everybody says they like pink salt, so mm -hmm. I'm going to try out the pink salt. Mm -hmm. um, let me get back to the chicken. Let me, let me grab this right quick, and I'll bring this right here, and I'm going to show you what we've done. Um, this is a whole deboned rotisserie chicken. Now, you can go and buy a whole chicken. You can boil a whole chicken if you want to. You can, uh, you can go... You could even go pick up some fried chicken, pull the skin off of it. You can use any kind of chicken you want for this recipe. Like I said, make it yours. But this is a this is a whole rotisserie chicken. I went out, and you know they, they have them setting out at, at, at your local grocery store and where you go. They have rotisserie chickens everywhere. So pick you up one. This is easy. This this saves some time. You can boil chicken breast. You can boil boneless breast or whatever you want to. But this just saves a lot of time. And this is what we're trying to do in the afternoons when we get home from work. We're trying to save time. Mm -hmm. I'm saving time so me and Miss Cleveland can go in there and get in the recliner and kick back and be lazy. Mm -hmm. Ain't that mm -hmm. what we're going to do? Mm -hmm. That's what we like to do. So <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and dump this chicken. I'm going to kind of rake this in here. And, and this, is, this is done right here. Once you put this chicken in here, once you add your chicken, you just incorporate that in. Just, just, just mix that in. Yep, just, just stick it on in there. Just, just put the chicken in there. And that's already... Matter of fact, we'll bring that right there, right to a simmer. Go ahead and dip those out. Throw that spoon over and dip that out. I'm going to put the top on that. And we're going to let this simmer probably for, go ahead and dip those out for me, Miss Cleaver. We'll dip those out and we'll salt those a little bit. But what I was going to say about the, about the tortilla soup, we'll let that cook. I would let it simmer for 15, 20 minutes until the vegetables is in it, the corn or the beans to get it soft. Some people like them harder, some people like them softer. So if you like them softer, let it, let it simmer for 30, 45 minutes or so. Um, it, it, it's just all, like I said, this recipe is all about making it your own, making what you like and making it the taste that you like it. All right, Miss Cleveland, so you okay. got that. So we're gonna let those, we're gonna get a little bit of oil off of those. Left. One little bitty one left. And we're going to get ready to plate this up in a minute. We're going to see what we come up with. Like I say, it's always good to add that salt while they're still hot and while they still got a little bit of oil on them. Give that one more stir, Miss Cleveland. Let's take that top off and give it one more stir. Yeah, that's coming together. That's looking good. And I can even, I can even smell that. I generally can't smell that much, but I can really smell that. I think we're good. I think that's coming together real good. I like it. I think this would be a simple recipe that anybody could come home from work and make. I mean, we're talking about, you're talking about chicken, you're talking about a, a, a couple of cans of tomatoes, a couple of cans of beans, and season it the way you want to, as much onions or as much pepper as you want. Well, we're going to let this cook for a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and take a break. Take and a we're short gonna be, break? Yeah, we'll take a break and we'll be right back to plate this up and let you know what it tastes like. In. Welcome back. The soup is done. We're about to put it in a bowl and give it a taste test. So yep, you, you want wanna... a bowl. I don't know. Is this, this is my bowl or your bowl? No, it's my bowl. Okay. Go ahead and we'll go ahead and plate this up and we'll just see what we come up with today. I'll you take that one. You taste no? it first. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put you in there so it'll be cooling off right quick. Remember these, these little wontons we made? These little, let me show you how crispy this is. Look. That's just as crispy and just break apart. I mean, these are these are really good. So I'm gonna add just a just a couple of those. You want a couple of them in yours? Mm-hmm. I can just eat them by themselves. And I I had some cheese in this kitchen somewhere and I couldn't find it. So what we're gonna do? Got to hit it with a little bit of. Not much. 
Well, I thought I was going to heat it with some sour cream. I'm scared the whole thing going to come out. Okay, well, we okay. won't put the sour cream, but I do want just a little bit of, this is a little bit of cilantro. And if, like I said, if I had that cheese, I would have added that cheese in it. But that's all right. We're going to save it for the next time. What you think, Miss Cleveland? Is it okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to see if this is a spoon the drop. The are very good. This is really good. And I'm telling you, this, this is quick. This is a, a good weeknight meal that you can feed your family and have plenty. How much? About this whole pot of soup, this whole, this whole what we've done right here is probably 20, probably $20, 18 to $20. So this, this is budget friendly and it's really good and it's full of Very flavor. Very good. Very good. Well, we thank you so much for watching us and, and coming in and letting, letting us come into your home today with a master's table. Yes. And I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you want to get this recipe, the information will be on the screen. You can reach out and find us. And just remember, this Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And today could be your day of salvation. God is good. All the time. Until the next time, goodbye from the master's table. <laughs>